a little bit uh, unsettled in the beginning. And my, oh my, look at that. She stood. Very wise to stand her looking out the door. She had something to look at, huh? But it's Monday. She didn't get ridden Saturday or Sunday. But on Friday, which was her first day back after another break, a longer break, because Michelle had been riding her and was away, and then came back, and we decided not to put big fat old me up there or anybody else and just let Michelle, let Gunport wait for Michelle. So Friday, she was surprisingly good in the beginning, as she is being pretty much today. Uh, before Friday, every single time she was mounted, she started jigging, and she never did anything. She never bucked. She never did anything dangerous. She just was very unsettled. And so Michelle would go right into the trot work and work, 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 work until she settled, and that got her to the point where she could walk. But Friday and today, we're seeing something a little different. She's decided maybe it's not so bad in here after all. The other thing that's different is that she had cut her lip and was being ridden in a Micklem bridle with no bit, basically a hackamore but with no leverage, bitless bridle, and um, because the cut was right on the corner of her mouth. And Friday was the first day back with the bit, and it was interesting to see how well she accepted the bit. She obviously had been ridden in a bit before that. And I think I noted in the video of Suave Jazz, and I mentioned in the written report, the number three written report, that this, some of them get behind the vertical. Um, this one, oop, spooky camera. This one can get that way, but Michelle's job right now is to find rhythm and have whatever contact and connection seems to contribute to the rhythm. And so if Gunport decides to drop her head a little bit or raise her head a little bit, we're not going to get nitpicky about it yet. Dressage judge would mark her down for being behind the vertical. So this one, if you haven't been following, is from Sagamore Racing, Sagamore Farm in Maryland. Was bred there, born there, and ran one race in their colors. Trained on their training track. And we got a email from, I can't remember the name right now, uh, the young lady who rode her most of her time at Sagamore and uh, got a nice picture of her galloping Gunport as a two-year-old with a lead pony. And uh, of course she was thrilled to hear that she's doing this now and said that she, as a racehorse, also struggled with tension and that it didn't help her in that sport either. But she agrees with us that she's she's the kind of horse who just wants to please and that she will come around 
and settle into her work. She's very smart, learns really quickly. And just like the others, Michelle is just asking for rhythm. So she was getting a little quick across that diagonal, falling into the left a little bit in the corner. And as she starts to learn to move away from the leg, and that squeezing of the leg doesn't always mean go forward, Michelle will be able to start doing things to help her with her tension, She'll, the way she did with Suave Jazz, where she could put her into a little bit of a leg yield or shoulder four or bend her around her inside leg um, and that kind of manipulation of their bodies usually makes them feel protected, supple. When they feel like they're really being ridden and it's harmonious, there's not a lot of reason to be worried about much of anything. You're in a little bubble and the human being is protecting you. But it takes a while to get to that point. So that stretching down that she's doing there feels good to the horse. Opens up all those vertebrae in the back stretches muscles, maybe even releases endorphins, if you can do it without them just getting quick. So she's let her do that, now she's picking her up in the bridle, bringing her pole up a little bit more, probably putting on a little bit more leg. But if you can imagine her with her pole as the highest point, sitting a little bit more behind, she gets stronger and stronger and stronger back there. And the movement that we've seen now would look even more impressive. And you can see with her, even though she's still very deep in her pole, wanting to stay low there, her front legs are still free, her shoulders fairly free. She lifts them up into the canter stride without looking like or probably feeling like she's jabbing at the ground with her front legs. So in other words, she's in balance on all four legs even though she's low in front. So there Michelle's making a real effort to get the front end up to be able to even get around a circle like that. Probably working with her inside leg here. And you see little moments where the pole comes up, the canter looks even better. Good. 
and another stretch to settle her after the canner. In this direction, Canner looks like it's even a little bit more balanced than the other way. Carries herself a little bit more easily, keeping her pull up more often. So she looked up, saw the mounting block, saw the door, switch leads behind, had a little moment of resistance, but she's such a good little girl that she still does what she's asked. And keep in mind, she's three years old. She'll be four in the spring. She'll be four January 1st. She'll be four tomorrow in thoroughbred years. She was probably born in February or March. Okay, so she's going to walk in a minute, and then we are going to trot her over some X's and let her let her play over the jumps. We'll see how her walk is at the end of her work. And Michelle would like to see her get a little contact down there in that lower frame. Rather than always thinking of it as an escape. So she looks like she's feeling pretty good about herself. Nice loose walk. Different expression. Tracking up a foot. We have put the jumps down to little X's. And we've even lowered one side of the X's the little in and out. She's done this, I think, twice, but not last week. So it's a little bit like starting over. And she was a little bit um, skeptical the first time. And she's now looking at one that's got the colored plank in the front. So maybe it wasn't the best choice, but she'll figure it out here. Here, I'll, I'll lead her over. Got the one with the...
So you always want only one new thing to figure out at a time. Jumping is something she's figuring out. You don't also want fear of what it is she's jumping. And that first little jump over there has is a plank all painted funny colors. And we'll take away the jump part and let her deal with the color part first. She's very, very, very careful. Which is exactly what you want. But you'll see she's a very quick learner. She probably will not stop again with those jumps. Beautiful. We put the little X's up. She's the type that gives you a lot, even if you ask for a little. She's already been jumping over them. Pretty nice. You can imagine her, once she really knows her job doing this, she's going to be uh, probably pretty fancy over the fences. Never, ever sloppy. And she's already proven to us that she's brave, not just from this, but from her very first trip riding out in the open to the ring. Wow. thought you saw a confident looking horse after her warm up when she was walking after she's done this she's going to look like she's the king of the world beautiful so she really pauses and studies the jump as she approaches it which is the great thing about mares She even flicks her tail in the air. So my guess is it won't be long before this one's cantering courses. Holy moly, what a good little girl. That's a good place to stop, huh? All right, let the Gunport fan club grow. Everybody's going to want you, honey. She just poses. Just posing. 